A surf reserve is essentially all about waves and surfing. It's about looking after those waves. To create a surfing reserve, you need certain things to come together in alignment. For example, a surf reserve, a surfing reserve has got to have good waves. It's got to have lots of good waves. So it could be a variety of different breaks or it could be just one single break. As well as that, we're looking at a super environment, a place where nature actually also is present in spades so that it really represents our world at its best through the variety of marine creatures, the cleanliness of the water, the background, the surrounding environment in its totality. You then need to have a strong surfing culture, something that gives a history, a sense of history to the place you're talking about, that shows that people have cared about this place for a long time and that surfing has been really important to the people that are there. You then need to have something that shows that the community itself has benefited in some way from the presence of surfing and the people enjoying themselves out there. That people have made money from it, they've enjoyed it. You also then need to have within your surfing reserve a group who identify themselves as custodians or of the place. That they are looking out for the future of the place, of the people who are going to use it in future. Something that we call a stewardship council. You bring all these features into alignment and you've got yourself a, a surfing reserve.